So it finally came in today, boys and girls. So just wanted to show you guys this. This is my wall of portraits inspired by Dorian Gray and or Harry Potter, whichever one you wanna assume both to be exact. But anyway, um, but yeah, so I got my final portrait came in today. It's gonna go up there at the very top. It's basically gonna be uh, directly across from the birth of Venus. I'm really stoked to show you guys what I got today. So my final piece for the wall of portraits is this 51 by 27 painting that I got in. Um, it's a, a recreation or a reprint, not really a painting. Um, of a, a piece by Gregory Manchez. He actually, um, he did a lot of cover art for uh, National Geographic. So this is gonna be kind of fun. Right, you guys might like this too. This is my, uh, this way. <laughs> this is my uh, mermaid knife. It's pretty cool. So, go ahead and open this bad boy up, baby. Show you guys what it's all about. Oh, come on taped her up, which is good, which is good. You wanna see it protected on the, uh, the route to its final destination here. Hopefully that's all we need. Oh, I think it turned out pretty good. Don't use your tire body. Plastic off real fast. So we'll get a good look at her. And I'll show you guys the final. The final. Oh, I stabbed myself. And for the first time, I've stabbed myself trying to open something like this. This is just a Photoshop version of me and a Gregory Munch's uh, painting. And uh, I think it turned out really well. Really stoked to throw this on the wall, put it in a frame, and get her started. All right, so my next step is I, uh, I buy a lot of uh, mirrors, gold mirrors like this. And uh, yeah, what I'll do is I'll take the mirrors out, as you can see, and uh, use the frame. That boy is heavy. Okay. So yeah, I'll take a frame like this, take the mirror out, and uh, yeah, repurpose it. All right, so I'll clear off my table here. Uh, and then I'll take my Braveheart sword. Freedom! <laughs> Sorry. Throw it in here for right now. Yeah, and then I'll leave the uh, the runner on there. And uh, I'm gonna need two hands for this, so give me, give me a second. All right, there we go. All right, and then I'll remove all these screws. Test her out, see if she comes up. Yep, so she's secure. Mona Lisa! All right.
now we can test her out again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put this here. Naked frame. All right, so the moment of truth. Let's see how she fits. Make a glove. All right, so that's basically what she's gonna look like. Hopefully she looks good. I just gotta secure her uh, to the frame. And then she'll be done. She'll be ready to hang. All right, now that she's on there, yeah, she fits pretty snug. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, she looks beautiful. Perfect fit. Still see the Jolly Rogers kind of creeping up at the top. Cut off my man down here a little bit, but uh, all in all, I think she looks pretty spectacular. That boat or the ship is is framed pretty well. And I like how she's positioned on the frame, and yeah, he's kind of creeping out. That's perfectly uh, framed for him. Um, yeah, I'm digging it. Can't wait to put her on the wall. We'll take these little nails like this, little, I don't know, inch nails, very thin. They'll be perfect to insert right in those little corner holes. And then we'll put one here. Oh, just drop that. And just drop them all right there, screw it. <laughs> and then we put in the corner there. Okay. So now we got our puncture holes. So now what we'll do, last but not least, is we'll put the painting in the grooves. Let's see. All right, so once the nails are put in place, we basically take our painting, canvas, whatever we call it, and what we'll do, looks like yeah, that was a little broken. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll come in here, up. So we need to come in here and put these here, put it in place. Basically these are going to serve as the marker for where we screw in our painting. Okay, okay. press. Yes, there's probably easier ways to do it, but this is just the easiest solution that I've found. Looks like, yeah, we got a hole right there. We got our second hole. And these over here are the ones that are a little more in the middle. There's one, and there's our second. Perfect, so those would be perfect holes for our screws. And what I do next, basically we take a set of nice little pliers and we remove the nails that we inserted for the puncture marks. Nice and smooth. Sometimes they're a little hard to remove. Screws. 
she is. Throw her up on the wall, baby. This is one additional option that you can do if you have a, a hard back like this. And so I'm gonna do that to add a little extra security to the canvas. So what we'll do is we gotta come in here. Get her nice and lined up here. We'll realign the holes if you wanna. Like I said, this is just to put the, uh, the hard back back on. Um, here we go. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of hand screw what we can. Got a little screws here. So yeah, we'll just get her started. And we'll come through with the uh, with the drill. Okay. Take our final two screws for the hanger. Like I said, these are, it's a great tool. I love buying mirrors and repurposing them as paintings. Just really, just a lot of paint, or a lot of mirrors have really, really cool frames. And you know, you only want a couple mirrors in your house. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I think paintings are way a lot cooler to display. So what I'll do is, you guys will need to see all this. So basically I'll just take all these screws and put them back in, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so I'll see you guys in the hanging process. All right, as you can tell, this is a pretty tall ceiling right here. And to do the top one, I got to get a big old ladder. And so basically what I had to do was get my 23-foot uh, uh, multi-position ladder. And so I'll set that bad boy up, hopefully in a secure position. I have whatever I was putting those top two and that those top two up there up. I, uh, <laughs> my ladder slipped on the step and I uh, fell straight down, didn't get hurt or anything, but uh, it was a, uh, it could have been bad. Could have been a whole lot worse than what it was, but, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that up. Hopefully that's good, yeah. All right, hope you guys are ready for this. The final product. There she is. She looks beautiful. Like I said, she's a little bit off-centered. Uh, that'll be an easy fix though. I like the distance between the paintings. So what I'll do is because of, you know, because I like the distance of the paintings, uh, I can just shift the whole, um, about three inches to the left and uh, she should be able to uh, center up and look perfect. But as far as right now goes, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, like I said, the danger is pretty much over. Um, so yeah, we survived. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, I guess you can call it. Love you guys.